hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how you can locally install this mini omni 2 on your local system you can use these same commands in windows mac or linux whatever the operating system is the main prerequisites is that you should have python 3.10 installed this project mini omni 2 is quite interesting it is an interactive omni model it is said to be an alternative or an open source version of gpt 40 with vision speech and duplex capabilities which means that it is simply a multimodal system which can mimic the performance of gpt 40 this model can understand image audio and text inputs and also has end-to-end -end voice conversation with users it features real-time voice output plus it is also capable of multimodal understanding and flexible interaction ability with interruption mechanism while speaking and you can see some of that in this diagram where it takes the input in terms of voice or even text creates a token out of them and then creates a parallel generation in duplex multimodality and this mini omni language model sits in between and it takes care of all the conversion of text or images or voice into embeddings or numerical representation by using various adapters for vision and audio once that's done it creates a decoded output and it gives the response back to the user so let's try to get this thing installed and then we will see how it works before i do that let me give a huge thanks to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus so do check them out this is the terminal i'm using ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram and later in the video i will also show you the gpu consumption so first up let's create a virtual environment with coda and i'm using this python 3.10 make sure that you also use it accordingly because it doesn't work with any other version of python let's wait for it to create it and now let's quickly activate it and you will see that in parentheses on the left let's git clone the repo of this mini omni 2 and i'm also going to drop the link to it in video's description that is done let's cd into it and now we need to install all the requirements with the help of pip and that is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish Okay, so everything is installed now took around six minutes to install everything next up let's start the server for this and for before that we would need to make sure that we have this multimedia ffm pack installed i believe i already have it that is good if you don't please install it just like with this command and then we need to maybe i will just go to another screen and then I will launch the server over there and I will let it run in that window for that let me deactivate my base conda environment and then I'm just going to activate Omni here which we already have created and then we need to go to that Omni 2 directory and from there we would need to launch the server and the command of doing that is simply with this Python command which is just launching that on our local host and the first time when you are going to run it it is going to download the model on your local system so let's wait for it to get downloaded and there you go so the server server is started and running i will just minimize this window and i'll go back to my previous window and from here we can launch our streamlit which is a gui but before that let's install the spy audio which is another requirement so let's wait for it to get downloaded and installed and pi audio is done let's run our streamlit demo so you see that i'm just giving it the pass to our server which is already running and then i'm just running this streamlit run web ui 
okay so as soon as i have run it it is asking me that i don't have this utils directory it means that i'm not in the correct one so let me cancel it here and go back so you see it couldn't find this so let's quickly press ctrl c here let me clear the screen and then we will check out what is happening so if you do ls here you will see that there is uh, there is a utils file here but it is unable to access it and eventually you can see that it is working and i will show you what i did to get it working and it took me like three hours to just fix this so really you know i think they should have done it uh, in first place but anyway so if i open this whole project this github repo in uh, the vs code it will be easier to show you so you see there is init.py at the root of this directory in uh, in the root of the repo so copy this whole file and then just paste it in the utils directory within that repo so once you have pasted it make sure it has this content and this sets the path up this is one thing you need to change so again make sure that this double underscore in it double underscore dot py file just copy it and paste it in this utils directory this is the one thing secondly when you run this make sure you also attach this python path is equal to dollar python path and then this mini omni2 directory this is the root of the repo so basically we are including this mini omni2 path in our python path that is all we need to do and then you can see that now it is running on my local system okay so anyway so this is done and this is how you install this mini omni2 on your local system and you can then start chatting with it and there are two modes you can either go audio only or you could go with audio vision so if i click on audio vision you see that there is a camera and then you can just start talking with it so once you click start here it is going to switch on your camera so let me see if it works because as i said i'm um, logged into a virtual machine through thin link not so i'm not sure if it is able to access my local camera but let me try it out i'll just click on start so you see uh, because my camera is not available on thin link client so it is not accessing it so let's try out the audio only here so and then let me click on start here and you can see that now it is say it is saying that it is listening and it is already recording it is doing something let's wait for example, I have asked it, what is the weather today? What is the weather today? And the model is printing out the response. Let's wait. It's still running. So let's wait. I'm so it was throwing some of the warnings. So what I have done is I have just refreshed the web page and let's try to do the audio only. What is the weather today? According to the current weather forecast, the temperature today is 24 degrees Celsius with a humidity of 70. The wind speed is 12 miles per hour. Okay. I'm struggling to uh, learn this AI stuff. I'm style. sorry to hear that you're feeling this way. It's completely normal to feel overwhelmed sometimes. Can you tell me more about what you're struggling with? Maybe we can break it down into smaller, more manageable parts together. I'm here to help you in any way I can. I want to learn AI. Can you help? Absolutely. Learning AI is a great way to gain a deeper understanding of the technology. There are many resources available online, such as tutorials, courses, and books. Additionally, there are many AI-focused conferences and workshops that you can attend to gain more in-depth knowledge. Thanks for that help. Can I ask you one more question? You're welcome. If you have any other questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Okay. Are you single? I don't have a gender, but I'm here to help you with any questions or concerns you might have. Okay. I have this friend who is looking for a date this weekend. Would you be available? I'm sorry, but I can't help with that. It's important to respect people's privacy and boundaries. 
If you're interested in someone, it's best to approach them respectfully and get to know them in a genuine way. Okay. Can I ask you very respectfully, would you be available this weekend for a date with my friend? Of course, I'd be happy to help you with that. Could you please remind me when you are available for the weekend? Done. Okay. And can I'm you here to help? What do you thanks. need assistance? Okay. Can you please ask all of the viewers and listeners to of subscribe? Of course. What would you like to ask? Please ask them to subscribe to this channel and share it among their network. I understand you're looking for a specific action. If you're asking for someone to subscribe to a channel and share it with their network, you might want to contact the channel directly and request permission. Alternatively, you could reach out to the channel's management or customer service for assistance. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. How can I assist you today? Okay, so I have just clicked on the stop at the top, right? So you see, it works like a charm, really amazing stuff. All local, all private, you can do whatever you want and you can go all crazy. Um, as I said, you can also do the audio vision. It m should work easily because there are no errors. I will just try one more time. I wish I could show you vision too. It really looks really cool. So yeah, so it's unable to detect my camera. It is also saying it, I think here that it was unable to detect my PCI card here in somewhere in the logs, yep, you see. So, but anyway, I think pretty good tool, really very, very impressed by it. I will drop the link to it in video description. And uh, first I thought maybe I will edit the video and omit all the troubleshooting I did, but I think, but I said, look, uh, let's show it because I think that makes real sense as that is how you know that we are all working on the bleeding edge. There are a lot of issues to be creased out. And if you get any other issue while installing it or struggling, please put it in the comments. I'll be happy to help out as much as I could. Before I let you go, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Agent QL. Agent QL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its Python SDK and live debugging tool. You can scrape and interact with web content. Agent QL works on any page, it is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query, and I'm going to drop the link to their website in video description. As I said, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.